What's up guys, back again with another JavaScript video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you guys my new portfolio website, seanbeaton.com. So I thought it would be a good idea to update my website because I hadn't updated it in a while and I thought what better way to do that than to create a website so that I can so I can showcase my games that I've created in my past YouTube videos. So I, it's a place you can go, you can play the games, but you can also create an account and save your high scores and then see other high scores and try to compare them, try to get the high score for that certain game. So that's what I did, that's what I created with SeanBeaton.com. Uh, so here it is, without further ado, let's take a look. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scoot over to the side so I can uh, put my website there. All right, so this is my website. It is pretty basic for the design aspect. I'm not really that good of a designer. I'm more of a back-end, uh, like making it work kind of guy, not really making it look good. If you give me something of what it's supposed to look like, I mean, I can make it look like that, but I'm not very creative in that way for like design like illustrations and stuff. So it's all basically just white, black, and gray. Uh, and so here it is. <laughs> uh, it starts off with just like a header and a couple different pages you can go to. Uh, hi, my name's Sean. Welcome to my website. I made it so the background color when you select something is yellow, because why not? Uh, so I create 2D games with HTML divs, CSS animations, and JavaScript. That is what I do. A uh, couple of buttons here. Click here to play games. It would do the exact same thing as just going to the games page. Create an account to keep track of your high scores. So this will actually bring you to the sign up page. To create an account, all you need is just create a username, an email, and a password. Password is hash encrypted, so it's safe. I can't see your passwords, so no need to worry about it being secure or anything because it's secure. Your password is safe. Um, this button here, the view high scores, will take you to the high scores or the leaderboard page. And the last button just brings you to the about page. It's just pictures of me. It's not that interesting. It's just if you want to learn more about me. Maybe I'll add more to that in the future. But then we scroll down a little bit. There's just this link here to this playoff simulator game that I made. I've already made a video explaining it, so you can go check out that video, or you can go check out the playoff simulator. It basically, I, I mean, I can click on it. You just, it just like simulates the rounds of the playoffs and restarts and picks a Stanley Cup champion every single time. That's it. And we scroll down some more, and we have the links to the four videos explaining how to create the games on my website. Uh, so, there you go, those are the four games that I created on my website. And here is a list of old versions of this website. So this one I created like when I started college, so it's very basic, I was just learning. Next one is a little bit cooler, but still really, really ugly. I, I, wow, like it, it literally has some horizontal scrolling for some reason. And like these move when you hover over them, and it's like really bright and in your face. One cool thing about this website, when you reload the background, <laughs> the background for that image there changes. So <laughs> even when I was new to the game, I was still, I still had some innovative ideas. Uh, there's a switch theme button up here, so you can switch, it basically changes out the CSS files, so it changes to a different CSS file that only has like black and white colors, which isn't the best way to do that, but that's what I did here. And then we have like this will open my resume and like links to my social medias. And then this version 4 is the latest version of my website, which is what SeanBeaton.com was a couple of days ago. Now it is, uh, now it is my new website. <laughs> so here's the games page. We have four links to our four games. These are just divs with background images as GIFs. And I just screen recorded me playing the games and then created some GIFs. The four games you've already seen on my YouTube channel explaining how to create them individually. We have Beer Pong, which calculates how many seconds you've been playing, and then once you sync all six cups, it calculates how long it took you to do that, uh, and then creates a high score. Div Slider is another game I've already created on my YouTube channel, but basically it's like that arcade game where you try to stack things on top of each other. And if they don't line up perfectly, then the stack keeps getting smaller and smaller and smaller until you just completely miss. Uh, hmm. I'm going to go ahead and miss because I don't have the patience. Um, oh yes, of course. When we finish a game, we have to either enter our guest name. So this, by default, because we weren't logged in, will ask us for our guest name. So we can just enter anything up to six characters. Because you're a guest, you can only use six characters. 
Um, if we were logged in, it would just automatically just go back to the games page uh, because we don't need to put a guest name. It already knows our username, so it'll just automatically add it to the leaderboards and bring you back to the guest page and you're ready to go. Um, so I'll show you this. On the fall game, I've made some diff on the fall game, I've made some changes because uh, on mobile, it would just start right away and you'd pretty much have no chance and you'd die because uh, you couldn't really tell what was going on because you'd have to scroll down a little bit to see the game and by then, you're, it's already over, you already lost. So I just added a 3-2-1 so that you have some time to get set up once the page loads. Uh, this game isn't super exciting because it's kind of slow, it's a little bit easy, so it's not that fun, but it's still pretty cool. Probably my coolest game, like coding wise. Uh, yeah, another name. I'm not gonna add a name. Um, and then Subway Surfers, if you guys remember, I used to only have one block and I added two black blocks so that it's a little bit harder. They could sometimes, basically, the black block can be in positions one, two, or three, but they could also be in the same position at the same time. So sometimes only one block shows up, which I'm okay with, but they kind of just randomly pick the positions one, two, or three. I also added the coins, so every time you block, or every time you dodge the blocks, you get a point, and every coin you collect, you get a block. So I'm just gonna keep going here. I mean, it's kinda, kinda I can just keep going forever, so I'll just, I'll just die. <laughs> uh, so 75, I'm just gonna, I don't know, like, like, high 75. I'm just gonna high 75 so that we can remember it. Click submit, and I'm going to go to our leaderboards. Here we have our leaderboards. We have our four games. There's also a fifth down here, and it basically just keeps track of our games. Right now, it's just my friends, and my dad made his name Will Smith for some reason, but this is just my friends who have played on my website so far, so you can see how many games they've played each. I clearly have been playing the most, so I have the most. Um, I have the high score on every game currently, but I am excited to see you guys hop onto my website and hopefully get some high scores. That'd be pretty cool. But so I'll start with the Subway Surfers one, uh, because that's the game we just played. And see here, High75 was the guest name, and we got 75 points. And it is currently, it's currently 108 now, but it's 107. Um, so that's the time. Not totally sure what I'm going to do about time zones. So I think if you come to my website and you're in a different time zone, it's probably going to be the wrong time for you. It'll probably be, if you're one time zone away from me, it'll probably be off by one hour. I, and I know there's a way that I can like detect what time zone you're in and change it for you. I'm not there yet. I'm just trying to get my website out. I'm sure I'll do that in the future. <laughs> but so here you can see here, high 75, 75 points. But then, so if I go to log in, I'm going to go log into my account. Don't save. Uh, so I log into my account. I'm gonna go back to the account page in a second. Uh, log in. Uh, I guess I'll. I don't know. I'll do Subway Surfers again, and I'll. I think I need like 17 points or something to even make the leaderboards. Cause leaderboards, right now I'm capping them out at 25, so it only shows the top 25. Because I was doing a lot of testing, so there's a lot of like low scores with like one or two, and there's a lot of them. Uh, because testing and stuff so I just didn't want everything to be shown on the leaderboard because it would get really long so it's only the top 25 uh, okay I'm gonna stop here so we got 57 points and so when I hit OK or hit enter it's not gonna ask me for a guest name because I'm logged in so I just hit OK and it just goes back to the games page I can go to the leaderboards go subway surfers and find here uh, what did I get 57 so yeah 57 here and yeah, 110. So there we go. Now our our um, high score is there automatically because we're logged in. And yeah, so there's only the top 25 you can see here. And it, see, it, it does actually go all the way down to tw two points because we haven't been playing that much. But two points for my girlfriend. Thanks for playing. <laughs> She's not that good, apparently. <laughs> and then next we'll go to our account page. So it starts at the top, it says hello, and then your username, your email here. The cool thing is, I kind of learned about this. This is kind of like a little thing I learned I'm kind of excited about. So here, this is just plain text. It's just like a span with your, with your email inside of it. But it has the HTML attribute 
Um, it's like character editable or something, I forget. But it makes it so that the user can edit the content on your page, which isn't the u most useful thing in certain situations, but in this situation it's pretty cool because when you, oh and by the way, when you click it, it adds the update button, but basically you can edit this content, I can change my email to that, click update, and it goes away, and that's what my e email, and now that's what my email is in the database. Um, so that's not what my email is, this is what my email is, so I'm going to change it back, but you can change it to whatever you like. Thing is, if I like get rid of that, go to update it, doesn't like it, doesn't take it because it's not a valid email, I, I could, I could like, I think just one letter, it'll let me, so I could do like that, but I need a valid email. Oh, I put an enter. <laughs> put an enter in it. <laughs> Interesting. All right. And then, so here we have our account stats. I wanted some like cool account stats, and I couldn't really think of anything other than just your most common game played and your least common game played. So I play beer pong the least because for it to keep track of your score, you have to complete the whole game. You have to sink all six cups, which does take a little bit. Like my best is like 30 seconds, but it takes you like a minute or whatever. So I don't usually finish the game when I play beer pong. So that's why it's the least common played. Subway Surfers is the most common played because it just instantly, no matter what, you're going to get a score. So um, it automatically finishes the game a lot. So that's why it's my most common. At the beginning of the game, at the beginning of this, I think we were at like 35, and you can see now we're at 37 because because we've played a game, right? Um, then you scroll down a little bit, and these are my high scores, my specific high score for every game, which I mean, I guess they're the same as the high scores on the high score page because I have the high score for every game. But if you make an account, it'll keep track of your high scores for you uh, on your account. And then there's a logout button. That's pretty much it for the account page. Uh, the footer has some icons to my social medias in the game and about pages, but that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, that's it for my, for everything, I think. I did notice, this is, this, I'm, I've been having some caching issues. We're at the end of the video, so I'm just gonna talk now. Uh, I've been having some caching issues, and there's supposed to be a padding here, so if I do a hard reset, there it is. Yeah, my code wasn't working properly. There we go. So this is supposed to have one padding for the background when you hover. It didn't before for some reason, but I just reloaded it, and now it's fine. It was caching my old code, but now it's caching the, the new code. So now everything should be okay. <laughs> Alright, so I think that is it. Um, everything works on mobile too, the games. The website's really good on mobile, the games aren't perfect on mobile because for some reason like the JavaScript runs a little bit slower or something, but it is totally playable on mobile, it's just better on the computer, so keep that in mind. But go check it out, go check out SeanBeaton.com and let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you guys in my next video.